Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, let's talk about databases again uh, for Mac. Uh, originally I was gonna go with Postgres, but uh, I had some big time issues with it. When you upgrade to it, it just causes all kinds of nightmarish scenarios, trying to fix it, I gave up. MySQL I've also mentioned, uh, there's the workbench, but Oracle has, for whatever reason, after six months of this new OS 10 El Capitan operating system has been out for about six months, they still have not included, this is Oracle, have not included the utilities as part of the workbench, so it's not supported. So screw that, let Microsoft, or sorry, MySQL, uh, sounds like they're doing uh, some bad things with it. Then that leaves me with... SQLite, uh, big disadvantage with that is hand the handling of the data can be really nightmarish when you're trying to import from Excel, in my case, which I'm doing, and then Reex to import it into uh, SQLite, it's a real pain in the ass. So the other big turnoff for me with that is that it's not, you can't cluster it, and you can only have one client right and insert one, only once in the database. So it's not really multi-threaded that well. That leaves me with NoSQL talking to a highly advanced Python developer after 10 years. He's he's using it. He's tried to push me to do Mongo uh, DB, which is NoSQL. So I'm gonna move forward with that. And you can also use Mongo uh, SQL as a relational database. So that still leaves me with Redis for my um, in-memory for the high speed stuff. So combination kind of appeals to me as it stands. So I've worked with MongoDB numerous times. It's not too bad, um, but using MongoDB as a traditional database may be um, useful. So let me try it out. So uh, the other thing that's really helpful uh, according to DB engines is that when you look at Mongo, it's the fifth most popular DB and it's still growing and it's getting up there in popularity. So uh, that's a good thing, and uh, I guess Postgres and SQLite not dying off, I don't think, but it's just I, I like to work with technologies that grows. And Redis still is in there, but that's a specialized NoSQL database for in memory. So here we are. All right, so what um, I'm going to show you now is the ways to install the server edition part of Mongo, and uh, let me let me show you that. So right now I'm using Mac, I use Brew, which is a package manager. Um, so you want to run a Brew update. The other thing is you want to do a Brew install. Pretty simple stuff. Um, and then there are just numerous examples to get it running. You can build it from source. The other thing is you need to make sure that you uh, are able to include it on your path. So when you go into your... Into your um, into your into your default uh, user profile in the terminal. What you want to do is you want to check on the path of your profile, bash profile. And what you need to do is you need to ensure you include the um, the uh, Mongo. DB uh, into the path. Okay, so typically you need to search where that is. Sometimes you don't even need to worry about it specifically um, with. So in this case, I'm running Mongo Daemon, and uh, that's fine, works fine. So you don't really need to do that step, but you may need to do it in Linux. But just ensure that the MongoDB path is part of your path uh, environment variable. So from there, what you need to do is you need to create a temporary data path. So what I did is that's my user path, users at quantlabs.net, which is the user profile. So that's quantlabs.net is the user profile. So what I did was I did the exact same path so I've got um, in my user path, I've got data and then DB. So those are all the temporary files that get started 
when you load up Mongo. So that next step actually entails you to either run Mongo on its own, which won't work really, or you should run the MongoDB setting the path of where uh, Mongo can find the path that that user has uh, writing uh, permissions with. So for instance, here uh, I'm in the user uh, Quantlabs default user profile path. So in my case, if I want to run Mongo, uh, Mongo daemon, and then just put in db path equals data and db, that should do it. So there you go. So it's able to uh, start accepting uh, connections and, and queries and uh, all the commands that would come from a client on the Mongo site. So this should work. And uh, that should be all good there. Okay. Knowing that, uh, the next thing to do is to set up your Mongo DB GUI from a client standpoint. So there's this Robo Mongo. So I'm just going to download this. Never done this before. Uh, don't know what that is. Probably some bad. Uh, looks like it's free. So we want this one. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So we're going to start ins installing it. That's pretty simple. So, question is. I think we need to put this into the applications. So if I go under applications, uh, Robo Mongo right there. So yeah, you want to open it. So create reorder connections via drag and drop. So let me just check if the server is running. So I think we need to get the server running before we uh, connect into it. So we need data db mongo daemon, not db. Mongo. Mongo. Oh, there we go. That helps. Okay, so we should be able to connect into it. Reorder connection. So I'm going to create a new connection. Uh, name, we'll just call it uh, default uh, localhost. There's no real authentication at this point. But, uh, let's give it a test if we can connect into it skipped by you. Okay, so we know that there is no authorization. So let's see if that works. So it looks like we are connected. Connection accepted. So we've got something going on. Okay, so it looks like we've got ourselves an instance of a database, local collections. So if I go, let's see if I can create, create a collection. So let's call this test collection. Okay. Functions and users. Okay, so we are connected. So 
Did we create? I thought we created a collection. Connection accepted. Two connections now. Test collection. There we go, I guess. Robo quit. Not good. Let me just reopen it. Connection. System local. <laughs> we got a bug here. Collection test. Uh, says connection. Okay. Mongo connection. So now we have two connect. Wow. Let's figure this out. Okay, let's leave it at that.